I'm a professional musician. I play electric violin for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I started playing violin when I was six years old and played basically all the way through high school, college, everything. Um, was never planning on being a musician. My, my true dream job, like growing up, is I was gonna be a professional baseball player. That was actually like my dream job. And I played baseball all the way through college. It just never entered my head that I could be a musician. When I was 24, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it was, it was just a total shock. I mean, I'd always been healthy. It really made me reevaluate every single thing in my life. Music was also part of my, my healing. I was taking lessons with this woman. I was having really a hard time with my improv lessons because I was so classically trained. You play like what's written in front of you. And I was never able to really let go. So I showed up at my lesson and she said, I want you to tell me what happened today, you know, during your first treatment. And I started telling her and she goes, no, I want you to play it for me. And I just, I closed my eyes and I just started playing like all the feelings I had of walking to the hospital, being scared of like, then being sleepy and groggy from the drugs and, and then being around my friends who came to the treatment with me. And, and I just played it and it was for the first time in my life, I wasn't seeking validation from someone outside. And I wasn't trying to do something that I thought was the right thing to play. I was really just playing from like, from my, from my heart. After I finished my cancer treatments, I actually moved to LA, not knowing anyone. I said, I'm gonna be a musician. If I only have a year to live, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna travel, I'm gonna be a musician. And that's what I did. And um, I've been a musician ever since. I was inspired by a book I read to just live with the things that bring you joy. And so after that, I got rid of all the things that didn't bring me joy and I built this tiny house and I live with, I mean, really the things that I have are my instruments. There are two parts to my house. The main house is 40 by 10, so it's 400 square feet. That's on a foundation. And the music room is on a trailer. It's eight by 20, so it's 160 square feet. Most tiny houses are eight foot wide, and I went with 10 feet wide just to give it a little more space. I also went with 40 foot long, which is pretty long for a tiny house. I didn't want to feel cramped in a tiny house. I wanted a space where I could actually walk around and have company over. I like a lot of lights, so this house has a lot of windows, big garage doors, anything to like make it feel open. We usually lift the garage door up so people are indoor and outdoor, so it's kind of the seamless indoor-outdoor thing. One of the really important things to me when I was building this house is to have an outdoor space where I could have concerts. So I was on house, like looking through pictures like for inspiration. Some people recommended putting the porch in the back because that gives you a lot more privacy. And for me, it was really important to have it facing the street so I could see people walk by, so I could kind of engage with the community. That was really important to me. You might recognize the outside of my house looks kind of like an amp, and it's actually a functioning amp. At the top, there's four marine speakers, and sound comes out of there. So next to the amp, there's also another garage door, and that allows for a ton of more light in that area, too. So my tiny house is basically a rectangle, and it's kind of divided into three sections. There's the kitchen section, which is about 15 feet. My living room is approximately 15 feet also, and then the loft area is about 10 feet. In a lot of tiny homes, you'll see the lofts right above the living space, and you have to reach it by a ladder. And I really did not want a ladder, so I built these stairs that lead you right up to the loft, kind of hidden in the back. My loft is really just for sleeping. There's no storage up there, and I built a custom railing around so my dog doesn't fall off or I don't roll over in my sleep. Compared to a typical tiny home, my house is widened by two feet, so I was able to fit a lot of things in there that you might not generally be able to do a normal size fridge, normal size stove, washer dryer. I wanted all of that to be kind of normal size. So this is my first home and I wanted it to be perfect. So I was on house like probably five hours a day for a couple months just researching everything, looking at exteriors, looking at furniture, all the things that I wanted in my home. I really loved the look of the corrugated aluminum with wood. I definitely wanted that for the exterior of my house. I entertain a lot, so I found this outdoor patio set on house, which I absolutely love. It looks great on my porch, it's easy to clean, and it is super comfortable. The inside of my home is pretty neutral with the colors. I really am very minimal, but I wanted some pops of color in my living room, so I found these prints. They're kind of abstract with some gold, some reddish browns, some blues, so it kind of brings everything together. A lot of people ask me how I ended up in Arkansas. It, it seems really random, although my brother and his wife have lived in Arkansas for years and I'd always come to visit them and I, I really came to love Fayetteville, Arkansas. A really cute town, culture, it is absolutely gorgeous. There's green everywhere. Good boy.
boys, over, over. I have two little Havanese dogs. I spend a lot of time in my backyard training them. I have a little agility course that I set up for them. My mom's been visiting and we've been able to use the space really well. When I'm in my practice room, sometimes she's here practicing her ukulele. Sometimes she'll practice out on the porch with the dogs. So I, I really use all of the space in my tiny house every single day. Before my cancer treatment, I actually thought I was gonna be a business person. I was gonna climb the corporate ladder. I was gonna have houses around the world. I was gonna have all these things. It was all about things. And it completely changed my perspective. I all of a sudden realized life is not about things. It's about people and experiences and, and community. Go get the mail. Bring? Good boy, thank you.